Hey, good morning, everyone. It's January 5th. Uh, today's the first day of the legislative session. Just wanted to give you a quick snapshot of some of my top priorities going into this year. Number one, New Deal for CUNY. We represent more CUNY students than any other member of the state legislature, but for the last decade, CUNY has seen their operating support from the state drop by about 20%. That has to end now. We have a plan to invest in CUNY, in more professors, in newer buildings, and most of all, in the student supports that are so critical to help all of our CUNY students succeed. Number two, street safety. Last year was the deadliest year in our, in our city streets ever since the implementation of Vision Zero. There still is so much more work to be done to make sure that we have a city that is safe for everyone. We have to renew the speed camera program. We have to pass Sammy's law to let New York City set its own speed limit. And we have to crack down and hold reckless drivers accountable for their actions. Number three, property tax reform. This system has been broken for years. We all know that. Now that the New York City Property Tax Reform Commission has, has finalized their recommendations, the time for action is now. I'm going to look to make this a huge priority in Albany this year. Number four, small business and job recovery. Our small businesses are still reeling from the pandemic, and New York City still has a very, very high unemployment rate, highest in the state. We need to be pairing a neighborhood-focused recovery that helps support local businesses with good local jobs. That's got to be a priority for us this coming year as well. Number five, stopping sexual, sexual harassment and discrimination in the workplace. Uh, this story does not begin or end with our former governor. This is a much bigger story, and there are laws in place that allow and protect abusers to continue to harass and discriminate against other people. I have a series of five bills that I think will help dismantle these systems, and I'm very eager to get to work to make that happen. Number six, we got to tackle these runaway hospital costs. Healthcare affordability is a huge issue. Why should it cost $500 for an MRI at one hospital, but $7,500 for an MRI at a hospital two blocks away? It makes no sense. My legislation called the Hospital Equity and Affordability Law would start cracking that cost curve and helping to bring hospital costs fully under control. Number seven, we have to be investing in our public workforce. One of the biggest things I heard on my public sector tour this year was how many of our public agencies, state, local, county, everywhere, have just been starved for resources, for manpower, for technology, for equipment, for infrastructure, everything. We can no longer have our public agencies where you have one person doing the job of five people. We have to start reversing that trend, and that has to start this year. Number eight preventing gun violence. We know this is a story happening all across the country. The rise in gun violence is incredibly troubling. New York has some really strong laws in place. But we have to do more to crack the iron pipeline that is allowing guns to come into New York from other states. Number nine, affordable child care. As a new parent myself, I am living this reality every single day. Child care is simply unaffordable and for many people in this state, it's not accessible. We have to have a serious conversation. There's a number of proposals that my colleagues have put out about ways to provide affordable quality child care to all New Yorkers. And number 10, now that the passage of the federal infrastructure bill is complete, New York's going to gain billions of dollars of infrastructure investments. We have to use that money smartly, efficiently, and effectively. I'm going to look to make sure that we are able to put that money to good use, especially to meet our climate goals, our transit accessibility goals, and our workforce creation goals. Well, that's a quick snapshot. For more details on all of these ideas, please check out my Medium post, and I want to hear from you. Call my office, email me, tweet, Facebook, whatever. Tell me what else you think we should be working on in this coming legislative session. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day.